Galaxy 2 is better than Galaxy 1. Yeah, true. And anyone that says otherwise is stupid. I know. Oop! Uh, I feel the immersion <laughs> with, the with, the, with, with the storybook! Shut the, the fuck storybook. up! No one cares uh, about stupid-ass Rosalina. But, but Galaxy 2 just has a world map, and Galaxy 1 has a whole hub world. Like, shut up. And it doesn't feel as grandiose because the sky is clear instead of black. Yeah, shut the, the fuck, fuck up. <laughs> So cringe. Yeah, what the fuck? The gameplay is like objectively better. There was yeah. a whole video made by a YouTuber called King K, and he makes good videos, but his opinion on Galaxy 2 was dog shit. What does he say about it? It, it was a video titled The Mist Potential of Galaxy 2, and he what didn't even talk hell? about Mist Potential. He just said that the game was worse than Galaxy 1 because it's more linear. They're literally the exact same game. It's literally the same gameplay, just with more levels, pretty much. I'm gonna see if the video's up. Like, better levels, right honestly. Now. It's like one of the only videos I put, like, a dislike on. One sec. Really? Did Tim already leave? Um, he... Yeah, he had to leave earlier to go to work. But now he's Thank at his Thank you for the sub. Sub with Prime. Hype, hype, oh, yeah. hype. Miss potential of Galaxy 2. Dis I'm one of 600 dislikes. Wow. It's a 41 minute video. Oh my god. A struggle for identity. What? Who cares? Let's listen to some of this shit. Oh, this is from like last year. So, what does this guy even say? Oh my god, speak! When is he gonna talk? If Super Mario Galaxy 2 is. Wait, why? <laughs> why was he just not talking? What the fuck? What is it that we're left with? Well, oh, we're someone left just gifted with a game me a, that tries a sub? Its absolute oh, dangest. thank you. To replicate the things that Hell made yeah. the original Leah something. Galaxy left a lasting impression Thank with many of its levels. Gusty Garden Galaxy is bright, it's triumphant, a striking and iconic representation of the series' first orchestral soundtrack. Okay, we get it. Around the corner, we have Space Junk Galaxy. Okay, so he's nutting over a Galaxy, which Galaxy's a good game, but when does he shit on Galaxy 2? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Both oh my god, he has like and bookmarks. Below. Peeking out from the cracks you entered is that same Aurora Borealis. The light and dark blues mm -hmm. bleeding into the yellow and red. It's one of my favorite fire levels and one of my favorite ice okay. levels. It's just such a somber Mario outing. It's more willing to let you soak everything in than to overload your pleasure sensors. Super Mario Galaxy 2 also has a fire and ice level. There's a pretty gorgeous background set in an icy ravine with dotted red magma simmering below. Cosmic Cove Galaxy has a beautiful backing melody. It's a big aquatic asteroid where you can explore underwater or freeze the surface and ice skate around. It has an awe-inspiring star-filled background. But then, haven't we seen this before? Fire and ice? A dark cove? Have we not done both of these exact themes before? Yeah. Yeah, Galaxy 2 does yeah. it better. And Mario... And guess what? Mario 3 has a desert world. New Super Mario Bros. has a yeah. desert world. Like, what? Just because they're reusing themes? <laughs> what? Oh, every New Super Mario Bros. game has a has a, a sky level, but uh, Galaxy 2 also has a sky level, so that means that it's bad. Suspiciously similar Garden. to Gusty Garden. Because it's a right sequel to Gusty the Garden. Grandest orchestrated themes yeah. in their respective games. Why is the first boss another incarnation of Dino Piranha? Because it's a Why sequel. Why is there another what? incarnation of the Wemo yeah. gimmick minigame? Because it's a sequel. That same old. <laughs> Why is there more of the same game in the in in the game that's called Two? What? Because it's a sequel. What do you With mean? Hell? It's more of the same thing from the old games. That w is what you would expect, right? From a sequel, it's literally called yeah. Two. Literally. It's literally called Two. What's another game that's called? What two? do they want them to do? Like make a completely different game with different art style, mechanics, that's levels, like saying, everything? Okay. In Sonic Adventure Two, they have a loop de loop. But didn't we already do loopy loops in Sonic Adventure One? Yeah. 
Mm. How how unoriginal. Mm. Mm. Remote gimmick. Guess that automatically Super Mario Galaxy might be my favorite Mario game. But that doesn't mean I like the Wiimote gimmick minigames. It doesn't help that, on the whole, what it doesn't attempt to borrow from the original is much more uniform. Bright blue skies are a dime a dozen that could have been plucked from any of Mario's adventures. How many other levels also share the blue sky, the upbeat music? How many of them blend together in your mind? I mean, hell, it's in the damn box art. The vast, dark, final frontier versus the calming blue sky. It feels like the See, that's what I'm saying! You literally complained <laughs> oh. about the sky! Also, do, do the levels mesh together to you? No, I can name almost every yeah, Galaxy was, in Galaxy I, 2. In the I same way I could say, Galaxy yeah. 1. In the same yeah, way. Yeah, show, show me a screenshot of a Galaxy and I, I'll like, literally like say that they're Like, different off the top of my head, I can't name every Galaxy, but that goes for both games. Yeah. Like Galaxy 1 and 2. Honestly, I could probably name more Galaxies from 2 than 1. But I'm probably the only time it's willing to go for a different mood is in its boo levels, which are supposed to be a break from the usual peppy mold in Mario games. For every fire and ice level, there's another fluffy bluff, wild glide, tall trunk, honey hop. Nothing about these levels reflect the melancholic, quiet vibe of the original. It's more the general, honestly quite bland vibe that any normal person- How is it bland? Just because it's upbeat? And would associate Does he cry about the green game. stars too? Part of what makes uh, this maybe, so hard to explain is that I like am willing to admit that game. Galaxy 2 is a more solid traditional platformer than Galaxy. Got him! Just like... <laughs> Alright, I mean, Got this it, video dude. is like 48 minutes. I don't know how much yeah. we want to watch. It's kind of interesting. We could like watch the whole thing and shit on it. I mean, King K, doesn't, ma King K doesn't make bad videos. I like his videos. This I've one, seen his videos and like my recommended before, but I don't think I've ever watched and, them. Th I just disagree with his opinions in this video, and I don't like the title because he says miss potential, but all he talks about is like why he doesn't like Galaxy Two as much as Galaxy One, which is fine. But then where's the potential? He says miss potential, but then he doesn't show what that potential is. Is a potential yeah. that should be the same as Galaxy One? So he's complain. So he's complaining that there's the same thing in Galaxy One to Two, like the Wiimote levels or. Uh, Fluffy Bluff is the same as a uh, Gusty Garden or what have you, but then mm -hmm. he complains that Galaxy Two isn't somber in comparison to Galaxy One. So do you want them to be different or do you want them to be the same? Yeah, true. <laughs> pick a pick a side. Yeah, I idiot. can make a whole expose video on this one. <laughs> <laughs> expose. Oh, he didn't talk King about what he said he's going to in the title. All all, all, t all caps. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Oh Defend my God. Galaxy Just 2. Like... Oh, you left a comment. Too. I did it a year ago. I said, I'm confused. You say that... Yeah, yeah here we go. You say, oh, I yeah. say, I'm confused. You say the issue that is that Galaxy 2 is not unique and just more Galaxy 1 levels. But then later in the video, you say that the more linear structure is the issue, implying you want the game to be like Galaxy 1, a blend of linear and explorative. That, that's something else he talks about in the video. Which is what you said you dislike about it earlier. You titled this Miss Potential, but you never explained what could be done to reach the potential you say is missing. Oh my god. It's- yeah, I don't- it's, It seems okay. kind of stupid. It's a dumb bit, but I guess it's his opinion, whatever. It's a fucking Mario video. But still, if he didn't like even touch on what he, what the title says, like, it was kind of an invalid argument. Honestly. It's just a bad title, I guess. Yeah. Alright. This is this is an interesting video to critique, though. Yoshi adds a new dimension to the level design with his power-ups. I think the cloud suit is much more interesting than B Mario. I think the cosmic clones are better than the races in the original. True. Plus, the addition of the comet yeah. medals means that True. every single level has an extra collectible worth searching for. I think if you were to compare the two games purely mechanically, Galaxy 2 would probably edge out. Which for a lot of people is more than enough. But exactly. where I definitely what else is there besides mechanically, like oh, aesthetically? But he's gonna, he's gonna explain. Well, okay, at least he's not dumb. At least he like recognizes it. I just disagree with his opinion. That's it. I don't think the video is shit. I just disagree with his opinion. Well, yeah. We have definitely lost. Please watch the whole video and shit on it. Whole video. Oh my god, it's forty minutes. Of the more grandiose vision that Galaxy was going for. 
I can't think of a level in Galaxy 2 that strikes me as hard as traveling into the Battle Rock and blowing it up from the inside. Maybe you just have bad taste. Yeah. <laughs> or you're thinking too much about the levels in Galaxy 1. Yeah, people definitely do that. I feel like people just have, like, so much, like, good memories about Galaxy 1 that then they just think, yeah. uh... Galaxy and 2 just maybe, isn't good by comparison. Yeah, but maybe it's because, like, I played Galaxy 2 before Galaxy 1. Same, actually. More maybe. grandiose. But, like, he says that he's, like, weird, that these, like, abstract things, like, grandiose vision. What does that even mean? Grandi what does that mean? I think mean? he meant, like, weren't they trying to have, like, a greater story in Galaxy 1? I guess. Like, even though it's still not, like, that okay, deep. <laughs> guys. Wait. Pull. <laughs> I'll do a poll. People love shitting on videos. I mean, th this is the perfect video to watch with you since you're like Yeah, true. Sure. Yeah. And we both love Galaxy 2. <laughs> yeah. Like, I couldn't do this with, like, Nick Dioria. Yeah. <laughs> gonna just shit on it aggressively i mean the <laughs> video is well made and i guess he i don't know i just disagree with him that's it all right <coughs> introduction let's go this video is brought to you oh, okay oh raycon all right buddy <laughs> buy Raycon.com slash Bo Black. No, Bo Black, Bo Black, cover it, cover it. Well, stay tuned. Someone else is it. literally in the it. caption. Buy Raycon.com slash Bo Blacks, by the way. Buy Raycon.com slash Bo Black. Yeah. Thank you. Super Mario. Galaxy is my favorite Mario game. Okay, bias piece of shit. It's the one that <laughs> blows me away now as much as it literally is 10 just... years old. Oh, it's the top of the nostalgia glasses, not more. Lifting off into the far reaches of outer space. It felt to me like a continuation of Mario's core thesis. He would never settle for the ordinary. Okay. He would always be thesis? testing the it's limits a Mario of what game. our minds could deep. conjure. You come to Mario. You'll never settle for the ordinary? Didn't he go on vacation to a tropical island? That's pretty ordinary. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. I'm just adjusting some screen stuff. Go for the unexpected. A delightful surprise that'll stick with you for years to come. Each game was unique, and Galaxy was no exception. It was ambitious, it was striking, and above all, it was fun. And then they did it again. Okay, that's great. Let's go. Another yeah. game. Let's Literally go. better. Let's Super go, Mario man. Galaxy 2 is not a bad game. It's pretty Hell fun, yeah. actually. Hell Yet it's yeah. always struck the me only as good take in the video. underwhelming. I have replayed Galaxy dozens of times. These are the levels I think about. These are the songs that echo through my head. This is the adventure I look back on fondly. I don't have that same drive to reminisce about Galaxy 2. When I'm playing it, it's solid fun. Nothing more, nothing less. It didn't grab me the same way other Mario games have. Over the years, I've struggled to explain why that is with any coherency. Super Mario <laughs> Galaxy dumb. 2 is Panera Bread. <laughs> Trust me, I've seen the arguments. The comets are handled better, the levels are more focused, more challenging, I get it. But whenever I'd see someone saying that Galaxy 2 is the superior game, I'd always raise an eyebrow. It why? never sat right with me, even if I could never explain why. You're against the moral. Oh, yeah. I can, you're against the moral concept. How could a game? I can't explain why. As an expansion so, pass, possibly offer something new I'm enough right. to justify being a standalone Mario. Who cares? It's funner to play. More fun to play. That's like yeah. saying you. Per like, let's say it's all one game. That's just like saying I prefer the second half of the game's levels and the first half of the game's levels. Yeah, it's literally like the same game. And who cares if it's a standalone title? Would you rather download this as DLC on the janky Wii eShop and then have it, like, gone forever? 
when it closes down. I don't know. Yeah, and on the same level as a game which pioneered the unique setting and gameplay, I think what strikes me so vividly about it is that it does just enough to be considered a sequel. It meets the baseline requirements, but has no interest in going further. It does they added Yoshi. It literally has more stuff than the first game. They added so. Yoshi. What do you mean? Yeah. They added a bunch of stuff. And it is like a direct sequel, so of course it's going to be similar to Galaxy. It's not going to be like the jump from Galaxy to Odyssey or something like that. Yeah. But it's like, literally based on ideas that they had for the first game. That's like they made saying, a whole new game out of. You could say the same thing about Mario 3 to Mario World. Mario World is just the same as Mario 3 with better graphics and new power-ups. What? Doesn't world want mana. to be its own thing. What it wants to be is more Mario Galaxy. Okay. I want to try to explain why I think that's a problem. Why is that a problem? If you love, if Galaxy is literally your favorite game, wouldn't you be happy that there's more of it? Yeah. Right. How? Who is he to sit here and complain for forty minutes about a sequel to like yeah. his favorite Instead, game? Instead, I'm gonna complain for an hour about his forty minute video. <laughs> yeah. And just to cover my bases in the comments, while this is ostensibly a video about why- <laughs> I can't explain why! Here's 35 more minutes talking about it! <laughs> well, he yeah. tries to explain, but... <laughs> Super Mario oh Galaxy God. 2 is disappointing. That necessitates- Yeah, see... He can like Galaxy 1- one... It's disappointing? See, he says it's disappointing there's missed potential, but nowhere in the video does he say what could make it better. He just talks about the problems, not the solutions. Yeah. It's a discussion of why Super Mario Galaxy worked as well as it did. In essence, this is a video about both games, even if the title is focused on the second. Now behave. I better not see a bunch of comments asking me where my video on Super Mario Galaxy is. It's here. You're watching it. Okay. Why do you hang on that for so long? It's super epic. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I like how we're just nitpicking everything. I just, I'm nitpicking for entertainment value. Okay, come on. But it's funny. Yeah? No, I just don't want anyone to send this to King K and be like, Bo Lax is fucking shitting on. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. He hates you. He sounds did depressed. He try and... <laughs> yeah, dude, he wants the KYS. Did he try and set up that like title screen like a like an intro to the galaxy Mario or something? Our... Yeah. Like a level select? Yeah, and then as soon oh as God. it says welcome to the galaxy, he starts talking the second he lands, dude. This wow. game's so epic. So epic. See? <laughs> Boom! I start talking exactly when the orchestra comes in. Yeah, it's epic, but Galaxy 2's wow. epic as well. Man. Arguably one yeah. of the most innovative franchises in our industry. It was there what? to kick off the platformer genre. It was there to refine the platformer genre. It was there to bring it into 3D, and it was there to shake up the foundations of what we expected in 3D. Okay. From Jump, it's been a series constantly outdoing itself with each new release, establishing and breaking conventions at the drop of a hat. I mean, you compare any of Mario's games up to Galaxy, and they're all so distinct. No, they're that not. original game set the framework <laughs> for what- They're literally not- Literally, look at um, Super Mario Bros. 1 and Lost Levels. Those are literally <laughs> like the same game. Yeah, yeah, but if, if we compare Mario 3 to Mario World, they're pretty s similar. They have the same. Yeah, even like, those are pretty similar. They have the same base. Mm hmm. <laughs> like, they're, they're, like, I understand every, every Mario kind of has its own, like, unique thing to it, like Sunshine and Galaxy and Odyssey and stuff. Yeah. I'm assuming he means every game prior to Galaxy, because if he's talking about past that, I mean, New Super Mario Bros. Wii to you is just like... <laughs> yeah, the exactly. exact But, like, it's not like... I mean, Nintendo always tries to do a new thing with each Mario, but it's never, like, the severity between each gap of Mario games isn't, like... The innovations, like... The amount of innovation from title to title isn't always going to be as extreme as Mario World to Mario 64, right? Like, mm -hmm. I'd say Mario 3 to Mario World, it introduced a lot of new things, but the it's generally still the same game. It doesn't, like, completely rework it. Um, and 
you know, you could even make the same argument maybe from Mario 1 to Mario 3. Although there's a lot of improvements, it's still generally the same. I mean, they introduce a lot of things, but it's still generally the same core. Yeah. I don't know. I, I don't think... It's it's like core... It, it's like the fundamentally the same game. Yeah. Like, and pretty much every Mario game design was supposed to be like, like with different It mechanics. was the playbook every subsequent platformer would pull from. Super Mario Bros. 2 changed everything about that original. Jumping on enemies no longer killed them. You had to pick them up and throw them. None of the original enemies. That wasn't even a Mario game to four begin playable with. characters. It was such a radical yeah. shift in design. Yet the Mad Men and Nintendo managed to pull it off. Super Mario World 2 was so different that they spun it. Oh, okay. You can conven you conveniently pass over Mario 3 and Mario World. Yeah. <laughs> and just to spite you. <laughs> off into Yoshi's Island, creating a new sub-series, which was only two games after the Mario, which was structured like a stage play. Super Mario 64 completely- Oh, that's what makes it different. It's a stage play. <laughs> so different. ...completely changed what a platformer could be, creating hub levels instead of linear gauntlets, with a focus on collection, that would go on to spawn an entire subgenre. Also, by the way, whenever he makes a good point, I'm just gonna say nothing. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Sunshine would adopt that level design philosophy, but put a lot of focus on creating an immersive location, which naturally meant an importance placed on visual design and atmosphere, the likes of which we had never seen before. I think part of what makes Mario so compelling is his willingness to break boundaries, to do whatever he wants and catch everyone completely off guard. Galaxies. Uh, do you know who Joseph Anderson is? He does really long but good video essays on video games, and he has a great one on Mario Odyssey. I have not heard of him, but I'll watch that later. I act. This is actually. Everyone's like, "Oh, what do you think of this commentator?" I don't watch commentary. I watch videos like King K and shit like that. Like this is what I yeah. watch on my own time. Yeah, this is like something I would watch too. Joseph Anderson. Oh, <coughs> this shit, video, man. It's no masterpiece. Two hours? Ooh, two after. It's no masterpiece. Ooh, controversial. I have 19k Ooh. dislike. Ooh. This one might be a juicy one to watch. Yeah, I'm going to definitely I'm watch I'm subbing. That. I'm subbing. This video was about the... Let's just start a series on stream where we shit on all of these <laughs> fucking videos that we disagree. I love so those, like, long, this. like, analysis videos. On yeah, videos. yeah. Dude, there's analysis videos on just... Eat a singular level of Sonic Adventure 2, and it's so good. What? Uh, How long is like, it? It's like 30 minutes sometimes. <laughs> a single level. But he like really goes in depth. Yeah, New 30 Super Mario on... Bros. World 1? Yeah, oh 30 God. minutes. He goes in depth, man. It's actually really interesting because he talks about like how they like the developers went around designing it. I mean, some of these oh. are like 12 minutes, 15 minutes. Crazy Gadget's the longest one, 30 minutes. Zoom's like really, really good YouTuber. Okay, let's watch the I, let's watch the not as good YouTuber. He is so unbelievable that even as a ten-year-old boy, I thought it was a joke at first. Super Mario Galaxy, Mario in space, that can't be real. You're just teasing me. Lo and behold, we now speak its name with a startling sense of normalcy. I think a large. You know who else start, talks about stuff with a startling sense of normalcy? Mr. Girl. Lol. Part of Mario's appeal, <laughs> sure. at least for me, is how each new game is doing something completely original. Now, imagine if things had happened a little differently. Super Mario Bros. 2 was actually supposed to be Doki Doki Panic. Bet you're glad your Uncle K taught you that fun fact. Super Mario Bros. The Lost Levels was the sequel in Japan. It was more Super Mario Bros. levels. You know, it was more of what you loved from the original. It stands to reason that you'd want more, right? New Super Mario Bros. on the DS was a fresh take on 2D Mario, a revival of the gameplay formula which had remained dormant for a number of years. It was inspired by the classics, but had its own look and mechanical identity that set it apart, incorporating a few Why ideas. Why is he using Comic Sans for his, it's like, It's easy to look back on this game and criticize its- Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> ...use of generic- He doesn't say anything we disagree with? Damn, look at those shitty-ass fucking- I just mobs. noticed that in, like, the intro to- Locations, or the, the grass, the desert, etc. But it's important to remember that the only reason these ideas became so generic 
is because this game had three different sequels which all inherited its style verbatim and did almost nothing to distinguish themselves beyond the odd new power-up. They're certainly fine platformers in their own right, they're fun, but are they particularly special? What do these games add as sequels that I couldn't get in the original? I can't help but draw a parallel to Super Mario Galaxy 2, a game that is so uninterested in distinguishing itself from the original that it doesn't even try. Okay, I'm literally I'm, the whole point is to have more levels of the original. I'm interested in your opinion on this. So, do you like he's making a parallel between Galaxy 1 and Galaxy 2 and how nothing has really changed between them in the same way that he does with New Super Mario Bros. 2 and you and we. Like do you mm. think n number 1, like do you think the New Super Mario Bros. first off, do you think the New Super Mario Bros. series do you agree with this assessment that like each sequel is kind of unremarkable from the original or not different enough? Yeah, I would. Okay, yeah. but what, do you have that same opinion for Galaxy One and Two? No, I think there's pretty distinct levels between Galaxy and One concepts and concepts and, and concepts like and mechanics and like everything. Yeah, I mean, and there are distinctions between New Super Mario Bros. DS and like Wii and, and stuff like that, but like, yeah, I feel like it's not as much. I don't think it's a fair comparison though, because like. Galaxy 2 is literally made from, like, reused concepts that they had from Galaxy 1, whereas all the new Super Mario games were made, like, on their own, pretty much. At least as far as I know. Hmm. Yeah. Also, like, I'm not, like, opposed to the new Super Mario games existing. Like, I think it's fine that, like, there's more of the same. Yeah, I'd actually say, like... I mean, I, four I of them I... is a little excessive. Like, three extra ones is a little excessive, but... Yeah, I don't actually hate them as much as most people do. I kind of like them. Yeah, if a new one way. comes out on they're Switch, just I'll like, buy it. Yeah, I will say they are like a little like un like uh like I can't really remember like many individual levels, but like when I'm playing it, it's fun. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I think New Super Mario Bros. Wii was different enough from the original, but I think yeah. once they got to two and U, they should have done more. Yeah. And it does seem restrict like with the uh, the things I have issues with is that like in comparison to the previous games because they're also technically sequels to Mario one and three and World mm -hmm. and I feel like uh they kind of go backwards in a lot of ways like you can't bring Yoshi or or what have right, you so yeah. like and only one of them has like a connected overworld map like Mario World yeah. Here's a thought experiment. If this game released as Super Mario Galaxy More, or Plus, or 1.5, or whatever, instead of Super Mario Galaxy 2, how would perception of it have changed? It sounds pedantic, but I think I'd be much more comfortable with its existence. Because I don't think what? there's anything inherently wrong with expansions. Oh. Okay. It was called a uh, lower number. I'd like it better. So, so his issue is the title. <laughs> Apparently. And then he's acting as if like the world would like the world would have like a so different opinion on Galaxy Two if it was called Super Mario Galaxy More and was a DLC of Galaxy. I don't think the Does perception he... on the game would change that. By, by saying that at all. By saying that, does he imply that it would have been DLC if it was called that? Or does he say, like, it would still be a standalone game? He didn't really specify. I don't know. Yeah. Um. Someone says, this is off topic, but someone says, would you get a pet if uh, you had the right living? Uh, I'm thinking I might. A pet I would get is either a small dog or, like, something that's, like, in a in a tank. Like a, like a fish or, like, a reptile or a snake or something like that. Oh, a I have turtle. a fish. He's so cute. Yeah. Get a beta fish. They're cute. <laughs> beta. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I get it. There's an overflow of ideas. Your creative juices are still flowing, and you want to pour it into something. But I've never been all that impressed by the Mega Man model of sequel. How anyone manages to distinguish between Mega Man 4 and Mega Man 6 is frankly beyond me. Clearly, though, there are people who care, likely the same people who prefer Galaxy 2, because it has better level design. It expands upon some of the less in-depth mechanics from the first game. 
for a lot of people, this is what they come to Mario for. Yeah, see, it expands. Wait, he literally just said that it's that expands. And yeah, it's but then something like Mega Man 1, 2, and 1 through 6 or whatever, it's just more of the same. Like, it's just... It doesn't I really think even those have pretty process. distinct levels. May uh, maybe. I mean, I haven't, I haven't really played them that be much, part but of the same game. yeah, yeah. Because technically, Galaxy Two could be as well, but uh, I don't know. Or it's just the strength of the level design, the power-ups, and that makes complete sense. And honestly, in games like New Super Mario Bros. or Super Mario 3D World, I enjoy that approach. They pull it off pretty well. I don't think Galaxy 2 does that very well, because it can't entirely divorce itself from what made the original special. What does that even mean? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It doesn't elaborate at all. Oh well. Yeah, wait! It's just part two now, what? Okay. Oh, uh, he definitely should have called this part of the video part more. Or part two, 1.5. I don't like that he called yeah. it Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would have respected it more if it if it was called. Uh... Also, remember this entire time the title is called "Miss Potential of Galaxy 2." I still don't know where the missing potential is. Right. Yeah. Like, what could have they done? A whole, a whole part of Galaxy 2 uses a storybook framing device for its opening. Peach wants to eat cake and watch the stars with Mario. Yeah. So out he comes from a warp pipe in front of the castle. Suddenly, Bowser wreaks havoc and steals Princess Peach retreating into space. Mario follows. It's a brisk opening, eager to drop the player straight into the action. Come on, you don't want to see all this boring stuff. Bowser kidnaps the princess and you're going after him. That's that. You could remove this opening entirely and not much would change. And if this game was called Super Mario Galaxy More, this would be perfectly fine. People are coming in with the expectation that this is just more Mario Galaxy levels new levels isn't that what people go isn't wouldn't that be the same expectation if it's called two like when you yeah, look at super mario galaxy 2 you'd expect it to be more of super mario galaxy yeah that's literally the point of a sequel do you think people would be less disappointed in the story if on the shelf as a separate disc it's just called super mario galaxy more you think people people would probably complain that the name is dumb and they should have called it too yeah yeah it's probably there would be say. just as many people complaining about about the name if like, it was why did you them. call it more just call it too it's kind of cringe you know yeah. like how people complain about the title new super mario bros because it's like new in front of it like it should be yeah. called super mario bros maybe it should have just been called new super mario galaxy <laughs> according to him since oh it's just God. as original as that that name would have been so bad. I actually, <laughs> yeah, the name New Super Mario Bros. I'm not. I, sh I think it should have been called like Super Mario Bros. Four or like Five or something like that. Instead. Yeah. That are styled after the original, and that's about it. An expansion pack. But as an opening to Super Mario Galaxy Two, it can't help but feel really lackluster. Not only is it too brief and vapid to really end up mattering. It's a frankly insulting retelling of the original. Super Mario Galaxy's opening is exciting. The Star Festival is an event that occurs every 100 years. They're literally both storybooks. Stars and... I guess. What the fuck? <laughs> I mean, he's not wrong that uh, Galaxy 2's story is like underwhelming, and I think Galaxy 1 has like a bread or presentation of that story. And it's but they're weird. like the it's same weird. story. It's weird that they copy-pasted it, but I mean, at the same time, like... I never really he said it it's not an issue. issue. It's not like I don't see it as like a, a huge issue. Yeah, I don't. Um, I have never thought of that as an issue. I've never played Mario Galaxy two and thought, hmm, I wish the story was more expansive, or like the first one. I thought uh, that a little bit when I played it. I was like, I wish like, cause cause like. It's supposed to happen every hundred years, and then it happened like again right after. I, f I felt like it should have made a little more sense, but I mean, at the end of the I day, I always thought it, of it, it was as just like just a small like... thought in my head. It wasn't like, yeah, yeah. I always thought of them just like, like retelling the first one or something. Yeah, and but then he has this notion that like if it was called Mario Galaxy more, it wouldn't matter. But like, I don't know how that changes anything. I think he meant like if it was DLC, they wouldn't have to have like a 
or they wouldn't have story. to explain like a whole new story they would, could just like go off of the first no one story would you either have it cut out maybe i would prefer that too if they just go into the action know. and didn't say jack shit i'd probably prefer <laughs> that as well honestly. well according to him that's basically what they did bring them so. to the castle <laughs> again peach wants to give something to mario but this time on the night of the star festival when we can most easily glimpse the beauty of the comet Mario makes his way to Peach's castle, watching his star bits rain down. Seems like he's having a grand old time. Until Bowser's fleet descends, freezing yeah. nearby Mario's toads depressed and in crystals. Galaxy 2. Here there's some cutscene direction, theory. highlighting the rippling of the intimidating Bowser flag, and Princess Peach clutching a Luma in fear. Bowser then summons a UFO, lifting Peach's entire damn castle into space Paper Mario style, they never explained where the UFO came for. Kind of a shit story. Them off into the great unknown. Yeah, the intro in Galaxy 1 is too long and cringe. Just get me into the gameplay. Yeah, honestly. Nah, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I agree the intro in Galaxy 1 is better, but like... It's a Mario game. Yeah. When he awakes, I don't think he finds it needs to be that, that same Luma on a mysterious planet. I don't. If the if the intro in Galaxy Two was better, I wouldn't think the game would be that much better. I would like it maybe like one percent more or like yeah, five percent more. Yeah, it would not affect it that much. Because remember, in the beginning, he said he's disappointed by the sequel of Mario Galaxy Two, which would imply that. It, it, there would be something else that Nintendo could provide that wouldn't be disappointing him, but he never explains what that is. Yeah. There he meets an intriguing new character, Rosalina, and makes his way to the Comet Observatory after retrieving a grand star. These two games... It's like Chaos Spender commentary, literally. <laughs> games clearly have different priorities. Super Mario Galaxy relishes in its slower pace, giving the player time to come to grips with gravity by chasing down rabbits on a round surface. Looking for them in their hiding spots reinforces the idea that you won't always be platforming. You'll be able to explore some of these environments. Then it pulls the rug out from under you. Suddenly you're placed on a series of planetoids and asked to complete various platforming challenges. That dissonance between the calming exploration and the bombastic platforming is beautiful. Super Mario Galaxy 2 puts you straight into the first level, never halting its frenetic energy. That first opening is more contemplative. It allows the player to catch their breath before stepping out into the vast unknown. It is a grand quest into uncharted territory in pursuit of Peach. That second opening is very been there, done that. Peach is kidnapped by Bowser. Mario flies off into space after him. We've done this song and dance so many times before. It's routine. It's ordinary. Wait. Okay, but... Wasn't Peach kidnapped in Mario 1, Mario 2, Mario 3, <laughs> Mario World, Super Mario 64, Super Mario Sunshine? And New then Super again Mario in Galaxy. Bros. You could say the same thing about Galaxy 1. Yeah. What do you mean? <laughs> of... I don't think it really needs to have like a. I don't know. Ordinary. I think this Let's whole the thing about the story stuff, is the weird. platforming, the level design. All of this first level is fire, 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 bam, 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 you're done. There's not a lot of time to reflect on what you've accomplished because the next level is just around the corner, ready to try something new. It's an explosion on the senses and can be quite exhausting. What? <laughs> It's exhausting I'm, to play a Mario level. <laughs> it's exhausting. There's too much going on. <laughs> what? Have you ever got like exhausted that. playing the beginning of Mario? Oh, Literally, no. So I like it better. I like getting into the action like more. <laughs> it's please. too fun, says e in <laughs> chat. It's too high paced. I want to <laughs> sleep while playing Mario. What? Like, I like that there's like a somber build up at the beginning of Galaxy 1. I think that's kind of cool, but they don't need it. Like, uh, not having that isn't bad. Yeah. Like, it's cool to have but, it, you but know, it, I, I, If Galaxy 1 lingered on that, like, slow build-up too long, I probably would hate, like, dislike it. Like, I would rather have mm. a ton of high action than a ton of no action. But. 
You can see this reflected ad infinitum in each game's DNA. The Comet He's Observatory exhausted. is a big home for Rosalina and her Lucas. So it has a kitchen, a bedroom, and a library. If you want, you can video. take a break and listen to her bedtime stories with the other Lumas. Starship Mario. Ma he wants a bedtime story told to him. Clearly, by Rosalina. Head is comparatively small. You accrue a few denizens every now and then, but there's never any reason to walk around on it. That oh, here we go. How, mu how much? The hub world. How much reason is there to walk around the? first comet observatory I was like, literally not if if we boiled down all of the elements i'm sure starship mario would have just as much stuff to do if not more than the odyssey the only difference is how spread apart they are yeah it's not like there's like hidden stars or anything to find or like any really hidden levels or like anything yeah exactly if you're gonna make this complaint about the hub world you should make that complaint Going from Sunshine to Galaxy, not Galaxy to Galaxy 2. Yeah, I'd say in Galaxy 1 and 2, they're pretty comparable with how much stuff there is to do. Yeah. That button, which takes you to the level select, is always right in front of you. It beckons to you. Jump right back into it. It's convenient. It's almost like they want you to play the game. <laughs> It's almost like it's more crazy than walking from another thing to another thing. And also, yeah. one, once you finish a star in Mario Galaxy, unless it's a grand star, don't you go back into the dome? Yeah, you do. Which would mean you get pulled right back in and get right into the action. You're placed <laughs> yeah. right in front to go to the next level. It's literally, it's literally it's the, the same. same. Unless you get a grand star, it's literally the same. <laughs> Yeah. Unironically, like all the, actually, all, yeah. all the stuff in the before in this video, like the first 13 minutes, it's opinion, whatever. You can have a different opinion, yeah. whatever. But this, it it's just, just straight, straight up, up wrong. wrong. He's factually yeah. wrong here. It makes me question why a hub world. Even He's exists. being dishonest, dude. He, yeah. I gotta expose him. He's being malicious. Literally. He's lying to his audience right now. Yeah. In this game, was it out of perceived necessity? The previous game had one, so the sequel probably should too. It doesn't fit the vibe of the game at all, which is constantly shooting you out into new and interesting levels. Lubba's existence isn't one of intrigue, like Rosalina. He's a big, happy, purple Torg okay, fat phobe. guy, ferrying you through the mire of levels like Karen through the river sticks. I mean, be straight with me. Which of these final battle marches are you gonna get behind? Oh, wait up, Mario. That's Bowser's Fortress, just a heads up. This is the final battle where our story comes to an end. Oh, but but it's so slow and so... Uh, I thought it would be too exhausting if you just went to the level right away. Okay, back to the world. Yeah. Are you getting behind this build-up? Or are you getting behind the build-up of your power stars contributing to the restoration of the Comet Observatory, slowly but surely, a countdown beneath your feet, which will take you to the center of the fucking universe once it hits zero. And when it's time to go, boy howdy, does the game let you know that it's time to fucking go. Okay. Wait, you can see like the little star thing grow in the Starship Mario too. Like if you go oh, on the Oh yeah, inside. yeah, you can see the little thing grow. Yeah. I mean, it is better in Galaxy. Like, yeah, by a little that's right bit, there, but, like... but it's still there. I don't think this cutscene is as, 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 is as impressive as he thinks it is. He's like showing me this and I'm like... <laughs> yeah, he okay. literally cut, cut the whole thing. He's like, this is so epic, you gotta, you gotta take it in. Take it all in. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a fucking... It's Mario! <laughs> it's just mushrooms and Goombas. Like, what is Go, Mario. Oh, there's but voice it's so acting. much more epic because there's voice acting and it's Rosalina. Okay, it is kind of. He's just epic. a simp for Rosalina. I mean, it is kind of. Has this guy played Sonic Adventure 2? Now that's epic. <laughs> that's epic. I think he actually does have a video on that. Sonic Are Adventure 2. Should it have been called Rosalina's... Sonic Adventure 1.5? Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, what was the Sonic Adventure 2 video even titled? Why love Sonic Adventure 2? Okay. Yeah, let's go. Wow. Learning to love Pikmin? Okay. Oh. oh okay. <clears throat> maybe this one is, you know, uh, maybe just a little slip up.
shows up, says that the power of love brought her lost Luma back to her again, or whatever the hell. Or are you going to take the ending where, in a moment of crisis, Rosalina and her children band together to create a fucking supernova and reset the universe? I mean, he's right, but like, I don't know how it makes the game that much better. I guess we just Whenever I got Mario game. Galaxy 1 for the first time, my game would always crash during this ending cutscene, so yeah. uh, that's why I hate it. <laughs> Bad game. Bad yeah, because there was like a chip in the disc or something. said Peach is a lame-ass bitch, and uh, Twitch hold, held it for misogyny. Wow. What? Don't be misogynistic towards Peach, alright? Alright. Why are you showing the whole thing? Yeah, how do I if I wanted that? to watch, like, a long play, I'd look Which that actually up. Are you taken? I can't help but think back to other Nintendo sequels, which actually bothered to establish a reason for the adventure to happen. Link is searching for Navi and stumbles onto a strange new world. Okay. Donkey Kong. The story in Zelda is obviously more important than Mario, but he's bringing up Donkey Kong, which is slightly less important. Link is kidnapped, so it's up to Diddy and Dixie to save him, traveling into Kremlin territory. Samus receives a distress call from a nearby planet, so she goes to investigate. Olimar and Louie return to the oh, alien well, planet right in order to that. save I mean, their bank I mean, Yeah, that's just I mean, Pikmin's just so godlike. I mean, <laughs> and when you no, bring Galaxy 2 into the conversation, it's just that. pathetic. Maybe we could have, for once, added what? a villain who isn't Bowser, considering we just did this same story what? already. What do you mean? We've been doing the same story for the last 30 years. Yeah, that's literally what wait, Mario wait, what is. What do you mean? That's the same story as Mario 1, Mario 2, Mario 3, Mario 4, Mario 5, Mario 6, Mario 7, and 8 and 9. It's Honestly, like, the same. those games that he just listed kind of have the same, like, generally the same story, too. Yeah. So. Isn't Zelda always, like, saving the Triforce? Or yeah, Zelda's, Ganon like, or saving the Triforce. Pikmin's, like... Yeah, Majora, oh, no, I Majora's crash landed. Mask is, like, one of the only outliers. Yeah, Majora's Mask is, like, the only one. Yeah, what the fuck? But... Literally every mainline Mario game up until this point, and even beyond that point, has always been Bowser. There's almost no mainline Mario game that isn't Bowser other than Mario Land 1, Mario Land 2... And that's it? Uh... It, everything yeah, else I is think Bowser. So. I mean, unless you count, like, the RPGs, but... Yeah, well, we're, yeah. Well, we're talking about the mainline platform. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe we could have added some previously established characters into the mix, like Wario and Waluigi. Thank you. <laughs> there were even Play talks something. to add cameo <laughs> appearances from other Nintendo universes, like Olimar, which was shot down by none other than... Miyamoto. It's difficult to avoid bringing up Shigeru Miyamoto oh, when talking racist. about Super Mario Galaxy 2. He's an artist with a very so particular we just vision, on him early. one that leans more towards mechanical purity. When given the option to expand upon story elements, he would almost always shoot it down in favor of creating more levels or more power-ups or whatever. Most of the elements which surround a game's mechanical... So you're telling me Galaxy 2 was going to have Olimar in it, but then Mi Miyamoto fucked it up? Does Miyamoto like Fuck Pikmin? Fuck Miyamoto. Uh, Clearly not, more or since less there's no Pikmin 4. In his eyes, which frankly makes me question how Mario has been able to be as explorative as it has with this stuff over the years. It's safe to say I do not share his sentiments. I don't consider one piece of the pie to be superior to another. It's the whole pie. What did it feel like to take a bite? What was the texture, the flavor? Was it cooked properly? In an interview, I feel like some of these Nintendo. What's the uh, texture of Mario these Galaxy? Some too. of these people are a little too deep for like no reason. Yeah. I don't know. I, I guess it's like how he likes making videos, but like for me, I'm like, who gives a fuck? Miyamoto well, like the majority of the video Galaxy so far has been about what, Majora's like the story map. or whatever. The story has never been that big in any Mario game. Yeah. Like honestly. Yeah. Most of these are opinions, but two, two bad points in the video one the immediately going back into the next level because that's in galaxy one and two, two yeah um what was it again what did we just talk about um uh bowser being in every oh mario yeah game. bowser's literally never mario game 
as the main villain. Yeah. Ask. Miyamoto compared Super Mario Galaxy 2's development to Majora's Mask, which is just... Okay. In a purely technical sense, yeah. Super Mario Galaxy 2 is a direct sequel, which uses the same engine and assets and was developed in a relatively short amount of time. That much is true. It's a bit of a false... That's probably what Miyamoto was talking about. Yeah, he what what does he think? That they're like Majora's on the same map. Model. He's a game developer, dude. Of course. He's yeah. like, yeah, the way we developed Majora's Mask was very similar to Galaxy 2. We did it. Uh, yeah. What? He's talking about development. Mask is a game which uses old assets to put the player on edge. It has a similar structure with many of the same items, but it changed everything about how the player needed to interact with the world. Majora's Mask and Skull Kid were intimidating new Majora's Mask is a masterpiece alongside game, by the, the way. Holy shit, best yeah. game. Oh my god. Oh yeah, my god. honestly. It reinforced many of the games. They need, no, they need to port the 3DS one to Switch and like... Oh, they do. Spice it up a little, yeah. ...themes and made for a decidedly... Remember that like HD uh, fan-made trailer for Majora's Mask? Oh, it's so that was good. so good. Yeah. They should just make those that into the game. Those guys made an actual game. It's called Kenna and the Bridge Spirits. It looks really good. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Cool. Sequel, which has earned its place in the series as a distinct, innovative entry. It stands completely on its own, despite much of its nature being derivative. Super Mario Galaxy 2, meanwhile, feels like it was ripped off of the original and glued back on with some extra bits attached. And it's not surprising that it turned out this way when one of your supervisors is against any and all interesting new story angles. He was against Rosalina's storybook being in the original, a harmless little optional side thing which fleshed out her character. It's short, sweet, and effective. It's one of the reasons I feel such a strong connection to her and her Lumas. It's part of the reason I care to go out and search for power... By the way... I haven't read Rosalina's book. I have no idea what that story is. I still, I've played Galaxy like 10 <laughs> times, 20 times. I still don't know. I, st I think I've read it, it like once or something. And but I never go out of my, I, I never go out of my way to read it. He says it's the reason he collects power stones. Yeah, what, what the fuck? Do you just get like not Stars motivated to, to play a fun game story if there's no story motive? Like, Who gets that, so, that attached to a story? Stuff stuff like like this game. is demonstrating a hard line stance against doing anything even remotely interesting with the IP that I just do not understand, and could have made all the difference for such an iterative sequel. It could have made the game so much more special than it is. Okay, so this is the missed potential. <laughs> but then, what, the what, fact what, it doesn't what, have what, another storybook. Yeah, well, yeah, what did you want, a Lubba storybook? Yeah, I mean, I guess there could, like, but then he's like, I don't... Then he says, like, the series isn't innovative, but then he also said that each Mario game has been extremely innovative from the last. I feel like there's a lot of contradictions in this video. Yeah. I might have my grievances with Super Mario Galaxy 2, but one area in which it did not disappoint was the soundtrack. Oh, from yeah. the extravagant oh, Star yeah. Station Galaxy. Start sucking off Galaxy 2 more, Yeah, <laughs> way better soundtrack. Yeah. Start giving a sloppy fucking blowjob to Galaxy 2. <laughs> fucking deserves it after all the fucking discrimination. The catchy fucking puzzle plank yeah. galaxy. Oh yeah. Puzzle plank was one of the remix songs in that other hack you were playing, and it made me miss playing more Galaxy 2. Oh, yeah. To the soothing like, oh, cosmic cove galaxy. Oh, I thought I thought soothing somber stuff wasn't in Galaxy Two. Yeah, I thought it was just exhausting. Yeah, I thought he was. Oh, so I'm so exhausted <laughs> playing Galaxy. Oh my god, I'm so exhausted. While it may pull a little too readily from the musical framework of the original. I can't deny that it produced some truly memorable and endearing tracks. Tracks which I highly recommend you listen to using Raycon's every Shut th Oh my okay, god. Okay, <laughs> please, please, guys. That's the only uh, reason why he said something positive about it. Raycon.com slash Boblax, alright? Let's go, guys. Wow. 
Let's go, guys. Let's Hell go. Yeah. Welcome, Bo Black viewers. Let's go. Use 15 Here's Here's the Bo Black, Black sling. Black. Let's go, man. Also, guys, don't forget meta PCs, man. Code Bo Black to check out. <laughs> this is the ad break for the reaction. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Oh, this is some of the part we already watched. Let's skip to. Oh, yeah. I guess here. Gather in your mind. I mean, hell, it's in the damn box art. Oh, the vast, dark, the final frontier. Oh, my God. the calming blue sky. It feels like the only time it's willing to go for a different mood is in its boo levels, which are supposed to be a break from the usual peppy mold in Mario games. Peppy. For every fire and ice level, peppy. there's another fluffy bluff, wild glide, tall trunk, honey hop. Nothing about these levels reflect no the wonder he sounds so depressed. He hates the blue sky. The yeah. It's more the general, honestly quite. I like the dark energy of Galaxy <laughs> One. Puts on so fucking, moody and edgy. Yeah, puts on fucking like I'm black eye makeup, black <laughs> lipstick real quick. Gets like his spiked collars. Emo. Out. Bland vibe that any normal person would associate with Mario as a short and. Part of what makes this hard to explain is that I am willing to admit that Galaxy 2 is a more solid traditional yeah, platformer no. than Galaxy. He's literally Yoshi adds a himself. new dimension to the yeah. level design with his power-ups. Kind of losing the, the debate. Kind of moving the goalpost a little bit and being disingenuous. I think yeah. the cosmic clones are better than the races in the original. Plus, the addition of the color yeah, medals okay. means that every single level has an extra collectible worth searching for. I think if you were to compare the two games purely mechanically, Galaxy 2 would probably edge out, which for a lot of people is more than enough. But where I definitely see an improvement in the mechanical identity of each level, we have definitely lost the more grandiose vision that Galaxy was going for. I can't think of a level in Galaxy 2 that strikes me as hard as traveling into the battle rock and blowing it up from the inside, or hanging out with some penguins in a giant floating bowl of water, or traveling all around a big Bowser-themed action figure and dismantling it from the inside. Battle Fuck the, rock the in spring okay. stream, I'm glad they took it out. Okay. List off some grandiose moments that you remember from Galaxy 2 right now. Prove them wrong. Uh. The I think the final Bowser level. I think Gobble fun. God is cool when it's like when we like Gobble Bowser God. Junior comes out and it has that music. Da, 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 True da, and the <laughs> the, <laughs> the hammer boss too. I think all yeah, of them. Or, or like the flip switch, like when you flip the gravity and like kill that guy with like the puffy lips. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It's awesome. Fucking love that. Oh, the drill is so cool. The drill. Yeah. The uh, uh, Rock Mario. Cloud suit. I f also, I think like the first time you enter Fluffy Buff Galaxy is like a really cool moment too. It's like the music's so cool and it's. I love yeah, that moment. I um, love that galaxy's music. Whatever. I, I, there's a lot of galaxies I really like in World Six, like the like the pyramid slide one and. Uh, the fact they remade an entire Mario sixty four level. Oh that was yeah. Pretty cool. Oof. And yeah, and, and yeah, and there's a lot of epic moments. Like some of the bosses are pretty epic. Like, dude, that huge boss. It's like a huge tower, and you have to like cloud cloud a uh, flower up to it. But yeah, yeah, the that, yeah, that, the one that's that Bowser really Jr. grandiose. Yeah. That's a really grandiose. Yeah, I think boss. it is. Mhm. Mm particular was always super memorable. Each star handled a different portion of this giant rock. First, you'd get to see the cannons on each side, then you'd travel inside and free a trapped Luma, escaping into the next star, where you finally left the rock for good, an explosion behind you. Someone should make a parody video of it, of this, where he, you copy everything he says, but just switch everything with ga <laughs> from Galaxy 1 to 2, just swap it. Yeah, you could literally say the same things about Galaxy. galaxies. It does a really good job exploring the visual theme of the level through all of its stars, just as well as it handles its mechanical identity revolving around the moving discs and glass domes. First, you have to guide bullet bills to them, then you have to throw bombs at them, which is used for a bonus star to clean up some junk for a robot. All of this is done on some disorienting disc-based geometry you have to contend with, capping off with the top men. As a result, when I think Battle Rock Galaxy, I think of it in its entirety. It all fits together rather naturally. Then I compare that to Melty Monster Galaxy from the second game. Well, that's it's another one of my favorite one. galaxies conceptually. 
I think the lava monsters are really cool, and they play with them in unique ways, using pole stars and small spherical planetoids. It's a unique level. Oh, for I know, sure. I know what he complains about in this in this level, and it's, it's so dumb. I know what he complains about. Oh my god, I remember this. Does he One say it's like the first? And mm. its other no. two stars have absolutely It'll nothing see. to do with this theme. They both use the rock power up. One of them is mercifully in some pocket dimension, clearly meant as some. That, that's that's what he complains about. That there's like the, the other stars and ever like bonus levels that could be in any other galaxy. That's literally like a hidden star, though. It's not even one of the main stars of the galaxy. Yeah, and isn't there a wait in Galaxy One? There in in, in Beach Bowl Galaxy, right? There's yeah. a star that launches you all the way to a planetoid that looks nothing like the Yeah, literally the the whole launched. thing in the sky, which is a galaxy in Galaxy 2. Yeah. In the special world. It, not every galaxy is going to have... Some galaxies are going to have some missions that are like kind of sidey missions. Yeah. That, isn't, that could be plopped into any galaxy. Maybe they yeah, developed them and them. they didn't know where to put it, and they just plopped in some galaxies. That's in Galaxy One and Two. I don't really. Yeah, literally. And, and you and you could find examples of that, as I said, in Galaxy One. But he doesn't bring up that example. Like he compares, mm -hmm. he acts like it isn't in the first game, or yeah. he acts like stuff's in the first game and not the second game, and vice versa. When that's not necessarily true. Side mm -hmm. game with the monkey, but what on earth, or I guess in space is the other star doing? Just floating out in the ether, sticking out like a sore thumb? There's just some bowling theme to strip a land out there, eh? Maybe we could have had an entire galaxy that was themed. Galaxy, <laughs> one, beach, bowl. Oh, whoa, what is this? This is a beach ball. Whoa, whoa this doesn't look whoa, like beach ball. Whoa, whoa, This just like, so it looks like some pocket dimension. Whoa, what the hell? Wait, wait. Whoa, this doesn't look like the beach. This whoa. Kinda, this kinda, why would this be in the beach? This is like really This looks like an underground dungeon I'm getting, I'm getting really exhausted by this. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit, this is exhausting as hell. Wait, eyes? What is it? This isn't the, this isn't the boo level. What do you mean? This is supposed to be beach ball. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm actually a getting a little- different. I'm getting a little- I'm getting really exhausted. I'm actually getting exhausted by this guy not fucking ground pounding. Hurry yeah, up, man. Oh, wait. Whoa, wait, whoa, this is not- Whoa, 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 whoa. maybe they should just- oh, <gasps> Blue skies, too? Blue skies? What the hell? Holy shit, blue sky- This is so exhausting. Holy shit, I'm exhausted as hell looking at that. Oh, thank god we're back to the fucking space yeah. skies. Oh my god. ...around the rock mushroom instead. I could see a He's bowling alley galaxy. literally being dishonest, dude. This guy's so bad at debating. Literally. He's moving the goalposts so much. In this working video. wonders for this. I mean, the game kind of already has a galaxy themed around the rock mushroom. So why not stick it in there or make a sequel to it? It would have given more. Uh, okay. His main. Okay. I'd have to call that that uh that galaxy with what the 1.5 though. His first major criticism for gameplay. 30 minutes into the video is that a star was in the lava galaxy instead of the rock galaxy okay okay you know what if miyamoto moved this star to the rock galaxy you know the game would that would have been a perfect I, game i would have had no issue with the game that's the missed potential right there they kind of organized it wrong more room to expand upon the concept of lava monsters or hell maybe you could have even incorporated the lava monsters with the rock mushroom power up in some way as is the main star of this galaxy is painfully short. So much more could have been done with this idea, but it's so clear to me that the levels were designed first and foremost mechanically, and every other consideration was superfluous. We Shouldn't that be the main priority? If the game looks fancy as hell, but plays like ass, who gives a fuck? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they make levels around mechanics, not the other way around. <laughs> yeah. That's... We can just stick it in Melty Monster, why not? Again, it doesn't seem like a huge deal or anything, right? 
The levels are still fun, and these can just be bonus areas. True. No harm, no foul. True. But when the previous game went yeah. through the effort of trying to connect a lot of these dis- whoa, 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 the previous game? Wait, is this Galaxy 1 or 2 that I'm looking at right now? Holy shit. <laughs> I don't wait, know. The, the levels oh are both god. of them. I'm getting really exhausted looking at this. Oh my god. This this probably comes from Galaxy 2. This has to be Galaxy 2. Yeah, it has no to. way this is Galaxy 1. Wait. Oh my god, wait, the common observatory? No, no, no way. No, 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 no. no way, I cannot believe it. <laughs> what the fuck? Man? ...ideas into something more cohesive, it's no surprise that I have a hard time picking out a list of truly memorable, interesting galaxies from Galaxy 2. It's only the ones which are fun. Maybe try harder. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, why does the thing say Collectathon versus Course Clear, but maybe, it says a burgeoning like fan made, Or maybe he put in his script and then like he changed some things, but he copy pasted oh. the script into the thing. I don't know. Um, also, by the way, still called Miss Potential of Galaxy 2. <laughs> Still waiting yeah. on that. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I like owned it with the beach bowl thing. There's no way yeah. you can come back from that. I literally, literally. Inte intellectually destroyed him there. Super Mario 64 and Super Mario Sunshine are not like other Mario games. There are bits that resemble the linear platforming gauntlets the series was founded upon, but much more emphasis was placed on traversing a 3D space and finding collectibles within those spaces. Super Mario Galaxy is the third 3D Mario game. By this point, it was much less difficult to make a more traditional Mario platformer in 3D. I have no doubt that a sizable amount of people were calling for a return to form at the time, and so some kind of return to form was inevitable. What I love about Galaxy, though, is that it is the perfect hybrid, a reconciliation of the two different types of Mario game. No doubt, there are drawbacks to both approaches. Collectathon Mario isn't as challenging or as straightforward. You can't necessarily control what the player does, so you have to cast a wide net in order to keep them engaged. That's why there are so many collectibles in these games, and why you can often do them out of order. The quality of each individual collectible ranges wildly across the games. But course clear Mario games aren't perfect either. While their simplicity is admirable, leading to a more accessible challenge curve, I often find that they're harder to ruminate and reflect the entire video on. Every has been level looks trip. more or less the same, except for the parts which be were the best designed video. by someone. You can see the yeah. points at which a human being crafted these obstacles for you. In other words, they aren't nearly as immersive, but they don't really need to be. At that point, it's more about pacing and difficulty design being rock solid enough to keep the player hooked. My point is, they're both different. I don't think it's necessarily a problem to segment them, but Super Mario Galaxy is an interesting marriage of both approaches that I'd never really considered before. Some of its levels are linear challenge gauntlets dealing with one or two ideas that gradually develop. Bowser's Dark Matter Plant is a challenging tension build-up to that boss fight. It plays with shifting gravity in clever ways, it's difficult, it feels yeah, that, like the perfect translation kind of, of 2D Mario though. into 3D. Yeah, this level exists alongside Beach Bowl, a level where you explore oh. on land and underwater with a Koopa shell looking for collectibles. It's not nearly as big as the levels in the Collectathon games, but its structure is the same. It isn't difficult platforming, for it's that one clearly level going for something slower and more methodical. Oh, wow. He literally These shows the contradiction types of level right exist in harmony, one after the other. A pristine blend of two supposedly opposite extremes. Deep Dark Galaxy is all about exploring a dark cove, finding the secret power- Deep Dark Galaxy is my least favorite galaxy between both games. Yeah. I don't like Just that galaxy at all. Perhaps, ...which will then lead you deeper inside. You have to find the way forward more often than you need to platform through it. But then you get Melty Molten, which is far more straightforward and focused, inheriting some of the surface-level explorative elements like 1-ups that existed in the 2D games. The best part of this is that you get the best of both worlds. Oh, You're yeah. never in these larger levels for long enough that the game becomes predictable. There's a platforming challenge waiting for you just around the corner. 
These hubs exist to break up the exhausting pace of a platform-heavy oh, Mario game. They give you a chance to breathe and flex other muscles. Like Galaxy 1 wasn't it's exhausting. going, though, you can rest assured that it fits into everything now that we're traveling to different galaxies. Oh, Sunshine secret areas always bothered me. Since wait, literally, that, so wait, wait, that, uh, that, in the, the galaxy you just showed, the one where you go around on the, the little platforms that disappear, that could be in any galaxy, too. Because it's literally just a random thing in the sky. Yeah. I like... Literally. So he's saying that what do what he's uh, about to say I think is that like Galaxy One has these linear levels as well as these open explorative levels. Galaxy Two is kind of the same way. Yeah, like, he's really building up to this. I don't even know what point he's trying to make, but whatever it is, he's like, really building up to it. Okay, I'll let him make the point, then I'll then I'll own him. Gaming ether, and it felt completely disconnected from everything else in the game's world. But in Galaxy, we're in space. There are what no do you more mean? limits. You're, oh my god, you're showing the level that fucking owned you, dude. You can come up with literally anything, and it'll fit within the premise. You can come up with literally anything, and it'll fit in the premise? You literally said the bowling level doesn't fit in the premise. And now you're saying anything can fit in Galaxy 1 biased? This is a large part of why Galaxy remains my favorite Mario game. It expertly scratches both itches, and it's a direction I wish Mario continued to travel rather than rigidly segmenting the two approaches. Galaxy 2 further pushed the series into course clear territory. I can't think of a level like Beach Bowl or Deep Dark or Honey Hive. It's Really? Okay, okay, okay. Now we own him. All right. <laughs> Yeah, Starshine Beach, literally. Let's go, dude. Look at the. Wait, look. Look. This level's. Oh, this is. Wait, it's this is literally Galaxy like two? an open world. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, it's not linear. I'm not going in a straight line. It's literally an open world galaxy. Oh the exact oh same God. thing. Oh, my God. Literally owned. Oh. Owning another beta. All dark matter plants. For the first few levels, this is completely fine, but as the game goes on, as you unlock more and more and more levels, it just gets tiring after a oh, while. So the pacing of Galaxy oh, is so, so exquisite, it's hard for me to put it down. And Galaxy 2 has always been the opposite experience. It's a grab bag of completely random ideas that all taste the same. It's what? fun in the moment, but- Random? Taste the same? You licking your games? Wait, what? What does Mario Galaxy 2 taste like? <laughs> He's saying there's randomness and there's no cohesion, yeah. It's totally not random in Mario Galaxy 1 to go from the kitchen dome to beach bowl, then out and into the haunted mansion area. It's- oh, yeah. oh my god. What? Makes, makes, makes way wow. more so. Yeah, dude, he just prefers New Super Mario Bros, where everything in World 2 is desert and everything in World 3 <laughs> is ice. But leaves your mind as quickly as it enters. Aside from a level they literally plucked from 64, Starshine Beach is maybe oh. the only level that reminds me of the other side to <laughs> oh, Galaxy's level design. And it's an outlier amongst the game's Is it? Collection. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Is he right here? I don't know. I can't really think of oh, all fuck. the levels. Oh fuck, we might be getting owned. Oh fuck. Wait. But then again, I can't think of like all the. I just haven't played it in a while. Wait, so. We gotta look. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Oh, all right, if you pull up like getting, a list of galaxies. Owned. Oh my god, we're getting owned. Wait. Oh, I'm not typing. Oh my god, we gotta do. Wait. We get owned. List of galaxies. Okay, we have Sky Station, Yoshi Star, Spin Dig, Fluffy Bluff Might. Mm. It is a little nah, bit, honestly. It's a little bit, but not that much. Flip. Right side down. No, that's no. one of the 2D ones. The modes. Puzzle Plank. No. Mm, no. no. Height Falls. No, High Tail Falls is not. No. Boulder. Cosmic Boulder Bowl kind of is. Cosmic Cove is. Cosmic Cove is a little bit too, yeah. I think Cosmic Cove is open enough. We'll listen. Wait, let's actually compare the two right now. Let's get the full <laughs> list out. We're going deep into this. Fuck it. Deep dive. We're deep diving right now, all right? Okay. Let's actually list them. Where's my notepad? 
Okay. Here we go. Galaxy 2 so far has cosmic code. Okay. Wild Glide isn't how about Honey Bloom? Honey Bloom. Uh, no, it's, no, it's no, not. No, no, it's no. like a mainly 2D yeah. one. Yeah. I'm just like right clicking to like look at what it looked like. Tall Trunk, I don't think is Uh, it is a little bit, but um Cloudy Court. No, not uh... really. Haunting no, Halls. Haunty Halls is not. No. Freezy Flake. Wait. Oh, the Freezy Flake's open. Yeah. Yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah. I'd say that one's pretty open. Um. Rolling, Rolling Masterpiece, no. no. Beat Block, no. no. That, no. Super no. Massive, no. Flipsville. Flipsville. I know you go through like some of the same areas and most of the stars, but mm, I don't know. It, it's about like exploring or not. Lit yeah, you don't really explore in flips. Though. Yeah. Starshine beat, of course. Okay. Starshine. Yeah. Yeah. L like, let's go based off like exploring, like you running around, like trying to find stuff in open area. Yeah. Okay. Which I, I think so far all of these count. Mm hmm. Uh, Chomp works. No. M Sweet no. mystery. No. no. Honey hop. Mm, wait. There's like a small wait. segment in Holly Honey Hop that's kind of exploratory. Yeah, some of it. Are we is, gonna count it not. if it's just some? Well, let's just count it and then like count those yeah. on the one as well. Yeah. Honey Hop. Gauntlet. Space Storm. No. Mm, that one's not really. Slip sand. No. Shiver burn. Yeah. It has one open area. No, that's kind of linear, though. Boo Moon. Boo Moon, no. Upside Dizzy, no. Fleet yeah. Glide, no. no. It's a flutter level. Or I whatever getting the fuck here. Uh, Clockworks, yeah. no. no. Throwback, Throwback, yeah. <laughs> this must be boring as fuck for you. Uh, but we gotta be correct. We gotta own him correctly. Yeah, yeah. All right, battle belt, gotta back no. Up. Gotta Flashback, back up. no. Slime, no. no. Mario Square. I mean, slimy Spring might be. Or is that one more? Is that the one where you start? I don't know. That one might be one. Okay, let's just say that's it. I think that's it. Okay. Uh, Galaxy One, Gateway. What? That's the one, yeah, no. I guess. It actually is exploratory. Fuck. Right, yeah. Gateway. <laughs> Booze Boneyard, no. Good Egg. Does Good Egg? No. Good Egg doesn't I feel like it's out. pretty linear. Honey Hive. Honey Hive, yes. yeah. Loop de loop, flip switch, no, 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 no speed, no. no, rolling green, no, battle rock, no, hurry scurry, no, 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 sling pod, no, beach bowl, yeah, uh, bubble breeze, no, ghostly, no, buoy base, no. does buoy base, no, there's like two separate no, paths, think, but no, yeah, really. drip drop, what's drip drop? I think that's the one with like the lot, no. yeah, well. It is just one big pool. It's just one star, though. Isn't it just one star? Yeah, but it's just... But it's not like you really have to explore it. Though. Yeah, we kind of... No, oh. well, let's just skip it so we have extra points. Uh, Gusty, no. Freeze Flame? Kinda. Yeah, that one is. That one is. Yeah. Fuck. Should base it based on how annoying the purple coin mission is. Oh my god. If it's really annoying, then it's probably open world. Dusty, or, or no. Anything. Honey Climb, no. No. Big man, not gold. gold leaf is just a clone. <sighs> we gotta pick it. But a throwback is a clone of Mario 64. So. True. Gold leaf. Sea slide. Uh, he he said he said sea slide was. In, yeah. He said it wasn't. He said it was. Oh yeah, yeah. I think it is. Yeah. Sand spiral. Deep dark. Yeah. The sand spiral. No. That's the no, the other one's not it. 
Dark. Deep Dark. Like, not Dreadnought. Not Deep Dark. I think. Yeah, we put, I put Deep Dark in. Okay. Melty Molten. That one is. I think. Is it kind of? At least part, part of it. No, but it's I know, linear. I know the you part... only go from one part to another, really. Okay. I know the part at the beginning where you collect all the purple coins is pretty open, but there's it's kind of like big, but like normally it's just going in a straight yeah. line. Yeah. Snow cap. Yeah. Oh, that's a small no. one. Who gives a fuck? Uh. Okay. So there we go. So in Galaxy Two, there's five. In Galaxy One, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Fuck. <sighs> Whatever, King K. <laughs> He might have a point there. Okay, but he said the only one in Galaxy 2 was Sunshine Beach, and there's th there's clearly four more. Yeah. Right. He did mention Throwback Galaxy 2, but he said oh, it didn't okay. count because it was just for Mario 64. Okay. So there's like... We might be stretching a little bit with Honey Hop, though. Yeah, maybe. I don't Fuck. know. You might have, like, one point. <laughs> Oh no, this is not his video. It's the only level <laughs> that puts Yoshi's power-ups to use in a way other than a set of platforms. And I love that. It's a chance to settle down for once and But he acts like there's so many like open world galaxies in Galaxy 1, and we just went through the list. Majority of them are still linear. Like, yeah. Majority. Yeah, there's not the that many more. In a game that is constantly hurtling you towards new challenges. And I think I'd even be willing to accept this change in level design priorities if it was paced well. But I think it's severely limited by what it borrows from the original. First of all, the boot-out system just doesn't make much sense here. If there aren't many bigger levels that you're encouraged to explore multiple areas of, then what is the point of booting the player out and having them select another star? It disrupts the pacing in an unnatural way. Granted, this was occasionally annoying in the first game with a few bonus stars, but on the whole, I think it was built with the boot-out system in mind. It used this system to explore completely different sides of the same galaxy. It was like getting a new level, but with the same theme. It was easy to get over a few annoying bonus stars that made you re- Again, there's only seven open world galaxies in Galaxy 1 compared to yeah. how many galaxies are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. At least like 40 galaxies. Yeah. 11 out of 4. Okay, okay, good. Also, buy raycon.com slash blah blah. <laughs> uh, of course. Retread the beginning of a level. The Comet Medals feel like an attempt to remedy this by having an optional collectible in hard to reach places. But then there are still hidden bonus stars that boot you out. And it feels really out of place in a course clear game. Imagine finding a secret area in Super Mario Bros. 3. And then it boots you out to the world map and asks you to do the level again. It just doesn't make any sense. The green stars then... Galaxy 1 does the same thing. ...are even more offensive. Yeah. Each level has three green <laughs> stars, and collecting one boots you back to the beginning. You end up entering and exiting these galaxies frustratingly frequently. I think the core of the issue here is that this is only a half step towards course clear. It uh, I mean, it is annoying. The boot-up system is annoying. I think it's annoying in every game. Yeah, it's not like a thing specific to Galaxy 2, though. It hasn't yet entirely abandoned the... Just like how Bowser being the villain is. Yeah, yeah. ...elements which made Galaxy a unique hybrid. And so those miscellaneous elements of its structure become glaring weaknesses. Weaknesses that Super Mario 3D Land and World... It, someone says, if boot out works in Galaxy 1 because it boots out to different parts, isn't that an admission that the open worldness in Galaxy 1 is a mirage? Good point, man. Do not have. Those games are allowed to focus their efforts on individual courses, which each do something entirely unique. You're in, and then you're out. They can introduce mechanics to you, flesh them out, and twist them like a mini story. They can be sure of when you know something and when you don't, to perfectly fine-tune the game's difficulty. 3D World, in particular, has four central collectibles for each level, which are hidden behind an advanced usage of the level's main gimmick, or by having the player retain a power-up throughout the whole level. Galaxy 2 just doesn't have that delicious rhythm of 3D World, nor does it have the satisfying exploration and immersion of 64 Sunshine and- He says these weird things that, like, I can't get an accurate picture of, like, what was that, like, delicious 
Cohesion? What was it? Old North Delicious Rhythm. Rhythm of 3D overall. What does that mean? What? Delicious Rhythm. Like, I, I just... I don't and even then know. And he says, like, the, the levels taste bad early. Like... Yeah, what is this I, I, I honestly food just, I, I genuinely, like, obviously I know they're metaphors to, like, explain something else, but I genuinely don't know what he means when he says delicious rhythm of 3D world, or... Yeah, I don't know, I don't think you can really use, like, food uh, adjectives to describe gameplay, I just, or a game. Yeah, I just don't understand. Or does it have the satisfying know. exploration and immersion of 64 Sunshine and Odyssey, nor does it have the striking balance between the two. It's just floating. I think it. Floating off somewhere. It. Again, 7 out of 40 galaxies in Galaxy 1. Exists. It's not a balance. It's still heavily weighed towards a linear in Galaxy 1. Yeah. Maybe a little more. A little more in Galaxy 2, let's admit, but. Look. I tried my best here, but the fact of the matter is that a lot of this stuff is hard for me to explain. I vibe with Super Mario Galaxy, where I don't quite vibe with Super Mario Galaxy 2. So, you wasted 40 minutes. It's been hard to phrase this in a way that doesn't make it seem like I'm completely trashing Galaxy 2. It's a fun game. One that I like playing, even. When I play Galaxy... Well, it doesn't seem like he's so trashing it. So hard for him to it. admit that. It doesn't seem like he's trashing it, he's just calling it exhausting. What can I take out of that? And that doesn't taste good. Yeah. <laughs> to you, though, I don't really consider it to be a sequel in my head. Instead, it's just an assortment of levels that never made it into the original. It complements the original, I guess, and that's fine, but... That's what a sequel does. What do you think a sequel is? Literally. Uh, like, like what, Sonic what is 2 this is like... more of Sonic 1, Sonic 3 is more... Like... I think he's thinking about different entries in a franchise, because, like, I wouldn't consider, for example, Mario 64 being a sequel to Mario World. I would just consider them different entries in the same franchise. Yeah. So I think what he thinks, is, but I think he thinks Mario 64 is a sequel to Mario World. And yeah, then, so and in the if, same and, way, and he it, thinks that this should be, like, a completely yeah. different entry in the yeah and, and then if like yeah. something like super mario 64 2 came out right the canceled one mm -hmm. that originally came out he would consider that more of like a dlc like, like this but in that case it would be a sequel it's like yeah. terminology different like if mario if if mario 64 was a sequel to mario world it would be called super mario world 2 yeah but that that's I guess that's Yoshi's Island. I don't know. Now this analogy is confusing. <laughs> now it's of course, too that's meta. never going to live up to the immense love I have for that original. As a he's sequel, so it has so much missed potential. <laughs> but as an expansion, it's pretty neat. I Where's the missed potential? You never explained it. You just said, you said, if we break it down, you said it doesn't taste good. You said the story sucks. It's too sucks. exhausting. It's too exhausting. It doesn't taste good and the story sucks. <laughs> Okay, it's so not the delicious. Mi so the missed potential. Uh, okay, so the missed potential is the story, right? I, I get that. That's but in basically. Terms, but in terms it seems of, like this whole thing boils down to him saying, "Yeah, uh, it's about the story." It's about the story. If, if you're talking about gameplay, like what you want the gameplay to taste good and not be exhausting, I don't even know what that means. And then, if you do that, if you do that, if you make it the same vibes as Galaxy One. And it's literally more of just Galaxy 1. And what you complained about earlier is that it just feels like an assortment of extra levels from Galaxy 1. It doesn't feel like a true sequel. It doesn't feel different enough. Yeah. And then you complain about it being different. Literally contradicting himself. The I can whole see video. why so many people love it. People whose brains are wired differently than mine. Sometimes yeah, I wish properly. my brain was wired the same <laughs> yeah, way. Properly. Yeah. You wish you weren't retarded. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we get it. <laughs> but then yeah. I remember the calming atmosphere of that original. The stories oh, Rosalina would tell her star children. The memories... You want bedtime stories in your Mario games. ...I have of this jaw-dropping new horizon. Nah. Galaxy just rules. Galaxy is a... Dude, when I... What is this fucking Comic Sans credits? Fuck. Uh... And then the video just ends. I'm not... I'm not gonna lie. When I first watched this video, and the credits came up, I'm like, that's it? Wait, where's the point? That's it? 
The video's done. I still don't know the consensus of this video. We just watched it. If What's the consensus of this video, Max? You just watched it. Tell me all of his points wrapped up. Um, really he said that it's exhausting, that Galaxy 2 is apparently food that tastes yucky, and that uh, Galaxy 2 is bad because Bowser is in it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> As if he's not in so every now other you Mario understand game. understand why I am one of the six yeah. dislikes on this, despite this being a majority liked video with actually a lot of views. I mean, yeah, he's I mean, kind of stupid. What was the comments even saying, dude? I mean, based on the likes, it seems like most people like it for some reason. Finally, someone gets it. I will. Oh my god. I will never understand why Miyamoto fought so hard to include fewer story elements in Galaxies Two. Galaxies. I feel like it's actually so magical. Galaxy oh 2 God. is fun, but not nearly as motivating to play as the original. Really? You go into a Mario game and because there isn't little Star Luma books, you're like, ah, uh, I'm not... Mo you know what? I'm the, I have the controller uh, right here in my hands. Ugh, I'm just not motivated to play anymore. <laughs> oh my God, just turn off the comps right now. Oh, I know the gameplay is really fun, but... Oh, Rosaline, oh, I have no babies to save. Yo, what's up, Alan like Burns? <laughs> I feel like it's actually like the more popular opinion to say galaxy one is better so i don't know why that guy was just saying like finally someone gets it <laughs> shut up dude i just completely owned this mario galaxy video i just completely yeah we systematically destroyed the only being beat by like maybe one point yeah, that doesn't we, really we, even matter. He completely destroyed it. He moved the goalposts like a million times in this video. Yeah. Obviously, Galaxy 2 is better than Galaxy 1, and there's no mystery. Obviously. I rest my case. I rest my case. Completely case closed. Destroyed. Dislike the video. <laughs> Fuck him, dude. Yeah. Piece of shit. Completely. He, he also, he lied to his audience. He just yeah, directly literally. lied to his audience. When they got to the um, the part about like going back into the levels right away, like he he just completely lied to his audience. And, and about Bowl, Bowser. Yeah, and Beach Bowl Galaxy sucks. And he only said nice things about Mario Galaxy's music to show Raycon. Yeah, the show an ad. Holy shit, man! Buy raycon.com slash bowlax. Also, meta PCs <laughs> code bowlax. Uh, let's go. Uh, also, manscaped. Thank you. Thank you. As weird as this sounds, I agree with pretty much every point you made in this video, but I still like two more. That's kind of me. Well, not every point, but... Yeah, true. Galaxy 2 is way more replayable. That true. Kind of was saying that. True. I've never seen uh, a more thorough extravation in my life than this review <laughs> Boblax obliterated King K. King K said lost and bewildered compared to the arguments of this Nintendo suit. dude I don't know anything about Thank politics you. I can but if there's a debate bro <laughs> culture if there's a debate bro uh fucking community on Twitch for Nintendo you know I'm gonna be the fucking destiny oh of that community God. the Vosh of that community the Hassan of that community I can <laughs> own anyone in Mario in Mario uh, discussion in Sonic discussion in Pikmin discussion Nintendo discussion in general I can completely just demolish people with facts <laughs> and logic just like I did with this video so yeah you know what I think I found my new career path I think I'm going to make Nintendo, Nintendo debating. Yeah, Nintendo exposure videos. I think I'm going to be like, I'm going to title the video like, King K is a disingenuous hack, all caps. Put his face right in the thumbnail with Mario crying in the corner. Literally lied to his audience. Lie! He's a liar, dude. He literally lied. Fuck. Honestly, this was way more fun than talking about, like, anything in drama the past couple months. Yeah. Holy shit, I'm so tired of talking about pedos and shit. Oh, my God. Yeah, this is way more fun Holy than pedos. Holy shit. Oh, my God. Uh, hopefully, he responds and we can have a big debate, dude. We need oh, my God. That would be so I'll fun. I'll fucking own him. I'll fucking own him, dude. <laughs> fucking gay. Bad video. <laughs> Bad video. Go dislike. Can we get it to a thousand dislikes? Wait, have anyone has the dislikes actually went up? Let me see. Oh no. <laughs>
<laughs> oh man, oh man. So fucking funny. All right. I'll go dislike it. Thank you. All right. We've been streaming for five hours and 41 minutes. What the fuck? It's midnight? Oh my god. The time just flew when I watched that video. That was actually fun. Yeah, it was. We need to find more, like, videos with shit gaming opinions. I don't know. This is kind of like a diamond in the rough, though, because usually he makes really good videos, and I mean, the quality of the video is good, but the opinion yeah. I disagree with. I don't think there's any other, like, long, hour-long retrospective video type thing where I, like, super heavily disagree. There's a lot of those types of videos out there. I just... All the ones I watch, I've agreed with. But if I find one where I'm like, what the fuck? Definitely saving it for a stream. Yeah. And I watch the... I watch... I usually watch... Usually a lot of those come up in, like, my recommended videos. So I usually watch a decent amount of them. So I feel like there's been some that I disagreed with in the past, but I don't even remember. 